missed you so much. So it much. was such a great holiday. I hope you guys rested well. Well, we are back. We are in action mm -hmm. and we are ready for this term's whole term's lessons hey. to give to you straight from online service. But first, let Aisha pray for us. Hands together, eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Father God, that you kept us safe while we were not with everybody. Thank you that we can be back, refreshed, rejuvenated, and with more word from you. Thank you for your grace, for your glory, and may this be a glorious day, a blessed service. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. We are going over to praise and worship. So get ready, get up, get stretching because it's happening now. said today we are learning about a high five and how that can be put into a prayer that sounds awesome but before we start do you feel sometimes that you when you pray nobody hears you mm -hmm. that you pray against the roof that your praise uh, your prayers doesn't go any further than your house well guys we are here to teach you guidelines to give for you to how to pray and how to reach God. In this term, the whole term, we are going to talk about how to, communi uh, how to communicate with God, how to pray, and how, how prayer is a two-way street. Mm -hmm. The first lesson Aisha is going to give us right now. So stay tuned. So, high five. Yes. High five. Right? You know how when we stand together, when we get when we start getting ready for prayer, we always put our hands together. So you're standing in your standing sitting wherever you are, you're in your prayer position. The first finger that is closest to you is your thumb. So when you pray for your thumb using your thumb, you pray for people closest to you. Closest to you. So it's yes. your family members, mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle. Brother, sister, big, small, anybody that is super close to you, you pray yes. for. Second finger. Pointing finger. Yes. So the pointing finger is anybody that 
points you in the right direction. So that would be your teacher, us lovely children's ministry people, um, your, your teacher, your children's ministry, your um, any mentor, somebody that, that you look up to, somebody that yes. helps you through your journey. Yes. Um, next finger. Middle finger. Yes. That's the tallest finger on your hand. That's yes. the tallest one. So, this finger, when you get to this finger, you are going to pray for anybody that is in a high position. So, that would be your pastor mm -hmm. at the church. It would be your principal at the school, a police officer. You know, people that protect, people that has a position that is super difficult. You pray for them. Even the president. Even the, especially the president. Yes. He makes all the difficult decisions. Yes. So, next finger. Your ring finger. Yes. It's the weakest finger on your hand. Yes. It is the weakest finger it on is. your hand. It's sometimes yes. so difficult to move. Yes. And when we get to that finger, you pray for anybody that you know is struggling people that live on the streets sure. people that don't have yes. um food in their bellies or electricity yes. or people that are living in a place where there's war you pray for sure. anybody that is less fortunate than you are can we pray for the uh, the people in hospitals yes the sick yes all of the sick people a perfect example. Yes. Sick people as well. Yes. So anybody that is weak in spirit, body, mind, financially, in any way, you pray for them. Yes. Then we get to the last but not the least. The pinky. The tiniest finger on your hand, the pinky. Yes. So when you get to that finger, God always says, never forget about yourself. Oh. Never forget about yourself. Okay. Because if you are not right with him, how can you be right for others? Sure, that's a hard lesson. So, you pray for yourself. The last finger, you pray for yourself. Yes. And take pride in praying for yourself. Don't be afraid to pray for yourself. That yes. you can say, well, when you do pray for yourself, you can be thankful for everything that God has done for you and you can even say thank you for everything that you prayed for using all of the other fingers so it's like you're already proclaiming that it is already done wow. and that is how we should pray yes right wow. god says pray as if i have already given it to you yes and guys that is how you can use a high five to pray so yes. now you know what you can use if you don't know what to pray, if you feel like you're praying against the roof, yes. give yourself a high five yes. and be blessed. Amen. Yay. Kids, there is so many scriptures in the Bible regarding how to pray. Even Jesus taught us with the Heavenly Father prayer how to pray. And it's so amazing. Your homework for this week mm -hmm. is look up. Let your mom and dad help you to look up the scriptures of praying. Learn them and put it in your heart Amen. so that you can come prepared for next Sunday when we talk about it again. All right. Aisha, can I have a high five? High yes. Five. High five means for me and for Aisha mm -hmm. that we are praying for you. If we give you a high five means you are on our list. So we are going to pray for you. Kids, we are here to say goodbye. It has come to an end and it was so much fun again for us to just teach you wonderful things out of God's word. Let's sit like this and then we pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you that we can honor you in this day. Thank you that we can teach kids how to pray. And as we give ourselves and others a, a high five, Father God, I pray that, that all the names that's mentioned in our prayers, that you will hear them, that you will hear our prayers. And Father God, thank you that we can pray for each other as friends and family. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. Who are we? Children of God. And what are we?